This is one of the highest lakes, alpine lakes, in the United States. But why? Why is that water there? Why is the water there? If I drop water over here on the ground, it's just going to drain away. And up there, it just drains away. But here, it's trapped. Here, it's perched up at the surface. Why? What is going on? The reason we think is that, one, it is held up by a layer of permafrost under here from the last glacial period. There's a glacier here. There's a glacier that was hundreds of feet thick. And the ground was frozen during the last glacial period. And with that frozen ground still remaining as permafrost, it's letting the water remain too. This is water from snow melt from last winter. But the lake is draining away. There's a real problem here. And that problem may be an indication of global warming. It could be saying with the climate warming, the permafrost is melting. And once the permafrost melts, the lake drains away. That's another reason, too, for perhaps this lake being here. And that's that <coughs> this. This is very fine-grained volcanic ash. Very fine-grained volcanic ash, when packed together, is watertight. And so there's also a lot of volcanic ash under here. And maybe the packing there is another, makes another impermeable layer. Well, wait a minute. Where did ash come from? Well, the ash came from over there. That is the site of a vent. That was an eruption that occurred underneath the ice. And that's what came out. So no big glorious fountains. This stuff just came out and chilled instantly, making volcanic glass. And where's the lava flow? It's right there. That's the lava flow that flowed out from the vent that was over there, out beneath the ice, beneath the glacier. Well, that flow didn't go far. It got cooled very quickly. You cool something quickly, volcanic glass.